If you're editing in the CapCut, these four animations are a must if you want your videos to look exactly like After Effects. And the best part is that I will show you everything completely step by step. So even if you are a complete beginner, this video is for you. First, we are starting off with this loading bar. Add a text layer, remove the text and hit space on your keyboard. And max the font size. Now scroll down and hit background. Pick white color, right click and create a compound clip. Let's start making the magic. Go to video, mask and select rectangle and shape it the way you want your loading bar to look. Now duplicate your text layer, double click your second layer and scroll down to background and change the color to light gray. Then select this layer and create another compound clip. Go to mask and select split. Rotate it like this, adjust the feathering and set it up to create this smooth gradient. Now duplicate your white layer again Double click, scroll down to background and change the color to whatever you like. This is your fill color. Now go to video, basic, scroll down and move it to layer number 3 and create a compound clip again. Then go to mask, select split, set the keyframe at the beginning of your clip and add another keyframe at the end. Drag your split mask like this and set the feather around 10. Oh yeah, this looks good, but to make it smoother, right click on your yellow text layer and click show variable speed animation. Set auto curve on each keyframe. Select the second keyframe and drag this blue line like this. So it starts fast and then slows exactly like this. And now add a text layer, type the number you want to appear on the screen and select your font. Create a compound clip and add a keyframe on transform at the beginning of your clip. Then add a second keyframe where you want your loading to end. Drag your split mask like this, open variable speed animation and set auto curve on each keyframe again and adjust the blue line so it matches the speed of your loading bar. Now select all your text layers and create a compound clip again. And we are almost done but let's start detailing this animation a little bit more. So go to effects, type in glow to and apply the glow effect on these layers. And if you want to save this, add a green background and export it to your next project. Congratulations, you just completed level 1. Now let me show you how to make this. UI pop animation. This UI pop animation is built out of multiple text layers, a profile picture and an arrow. You can create the arrow yourself inside CapCut. But to save you time, it's already included in the editor's basic pack. You will find it in the link in the description. And now add a text layer, remove the text and hit space on your keyboard. Set the font size to maximum. Scroll down and enable background and choose your grayish color. Now create a compound clip and go to mask. Pick a rectangle, round the corners completely and shape it however you like. Now duplicate your compound clip. Double click, scroll down and change the color to darker gray. Create another compound clip out of your darker layer. Go to video, mask and create a gradient effect using split mask with feathering. To add a more depth, duplicate your light gray layer Change the color to darker gray and use a circle mask and position it something like this. And spread the feather for a soft gradient and your base is ready. Next is your profile picture. Duplicate your dark text layer, change its color as you like and shape the rectangle mask like this. Now add your arrow and position it inside a smaller rectangle. Duplicate this darker layer again, change its color to white, go to video and decrease the opacity so you can see through it. Adjust the mask and bring the opacity back to 100. Create a compound clip again, go to mask and pick a rectangle. And make a stroke out of it like this. Finally, select all your layers and apply glow to effect over them. And just like that, you created your second UI animation. Now, let's move to the next one. UI rectangle. For this UI rectangle animation, start with the default text layer. Remove the text, set the font size to the maximum and pick your base color. Create a compound clip and use a rectangle mask to form your shape. Duplicate the layer, double click it and change the color to darker purple. Create another compound clip and apply circle mask. Adjust the feathering to create this smooth gradient. Now duplicate this text layer one more time, change the color to light gray, move the mask slightly to the left and your base is ready. Duplicate the bottom layer again, change the color to white and increase the mask to create a strobe effect like this. Create a compound clip out of your stroke layer again, go to video, mask, set it to layer number one and select split mask. Add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip, set the feather to 50 and then add another keyframe at the end and set the rotation to 700. If you want your rotation to go slower, just decrease this number. Finally, select all your layers, create a compound clip and apply glow effect over. Now it's up to you how you want to use this bar, but just so you have some more inspiration, here's how I used mine. Now let's build this countdown animation. Start by adding a default text layer. Set the duration, in this case 5 seconds, and type the letter O, and set the color to light blue. Duplicate the layer and change the duplicate's color to darker blue. Go to animation out and select clock wipe. Set the duration on 5 seconds, 
and now add another text layer, type 5 and make a cut every one second. Change all of these layers from 5 to 1, duplicate all the layers again, set the first color to light blue and the second one to darker blue. Create a compound clip on each layer and add a split mask to achieve this gradient effect. And one more text layer, type seconds and position it like this. Create a compound clip and apply glow effects on this layer. Once you're done, select all your clips, create one final compound clip and apply glow effects on your final composition. And just like that, you created your countdown animation. So you just learned four UI animations that looks exactly like After Effects. And if you're loving this editing like an After Effects series, you might be interested in this next video, where I show how to build After Effects style captions, how to build custom backgrounds and how to build animations completely from scratch. Smash that like, hit that subscribe and I see you there.